Elements to be observed in planting trees and fruit trees and marketing seedlings. Lesson objectives. Observe the proper care of plants and soil. Differentiates the method. Explain how to prepare seeds for planting. Discuss the preparation of seedlings before transplanting. Conduct survey on the elements to be observed in planting trees and fruit being trees. Planting, just like cooking, requires systematic way of doing things. It requires systematic way of doing things. It requires a step-by-step -step procedure on how to select and prepare the soil, the seedlings, the tools, and the location for planting. With the requirements, all that is needed is a thorough knowledge and skill on how to do the planting process and the manner on how to plants are to be taken care of. Proper care of plants and soil. Proper care of plants and soil is necessary for a healthy and bountiful harvest. Do the following. 1. Choose the best place for planting. Choose a place where teas will grow freely without obstruction like street fences or walls. Have enough space allowance between trees or between the streets, fences, or walls. Consider the type of soil and the amount of sunlight. 2. Choose the seeds that best suit the season and the soil. This means that the seeds come from a good quality mother and the seeds are healthy mature with no blemishes or cuts and of the right size and form. Seeds must be prepared before planting. Planting should be done preferably during the rainy season. The soil must be suited to the type of seeds to be planted. 3. Put sufficient fertilizers in the soil. It is advisable to prepare the soil before planting. This means cleaning the soil and its surrounding area and mixing the soil with organic fertilizers. Organic fertilizers are safe and economical to use, while inorganic or commercial fertilizers have to be regulated because overuse can poison the soil. Remember, plants need nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium to grow and to make them resistant to pests and diseases. 4. Take care of the soil and the plants regularly. Caring for the young trees means removing the grass and weeds around them so they do not compete in getting the nutrients from the soil. Keep the soil always moist, and this is no problem during the rainy season. However, during the dry months, there is need to water them regularly. Watering is done during sunrise or after sunset to keep the evaporation of water from the soil slow. Make a ring of cultivation around the young tea with size matching the circumference of the crown of the tree. Methods of planting. Different trees are cultivated in different ways. There are two ways of planting direct and indirect. Direct planting is a method of planting where the seeds or parts of a plant are directly planted in the soil where it will germinate and grow into full-grown trees. Indirect planting the plant needs to be transferred to its permanent place. This is commonly done with trees. The use of high-quality seeds results in high productivity. High-quality seeds have a high percentage of germination and correct moisture content and are free from seed pests, diseases, and other physical injuries. They should come from a tree with a uniform height and heading, a characteristic known as varietal purity. To maintain high-quality seeds, the following steps are recommended. 1. Remove off-type, diseased, and damaged seeds. 2. Label seeds properly. 3. Select the preserve-only mature seeds and dry the under the sun until proper moisture is attained. Preparing seeds for planting. There are different ways of preparing seeds. One way is be placing the seeds under the sun before planting. One example of this is the eye tree. Some seeds like the mango have to be removed from their hard shells before planting. Seeds like santal need to be dried before planted in the soil. There are also seeds that need to be soaked in water before planting, like the seeds of iplipal. Seeds of avocado are planted as is with the bigger end of the seed below the soil surface. Seed germination. Seeds need moisture, warmth, oxygen, and in some instances, sunlight in order to germinate. Small seeds are sown in a seed box before setting them out in the field. Seeds can be germinated in small plastic trays, pots, and other relatively small containers filled with soil medium recommended for seed propagation. The bottom of the seed boxes should have tiny holes to allow drainage. Before the seed is sown, the soil should be moistened with a fine spray of water until the soil has absorbed enough moisture. Make rows with pointed sticks. This rows should be twice as deep as the size of the seeds. Sow the seeds evenly in rows and cove them with loose soil, then press the soil gently. If you will plant trees, the space should be 10 meters in distance depending on the size of the tree. The seed box should be kept in a shady place until the seeds have sprouted. It should be protected from pests, animals, and adverse weather. Cover the seed box with a sheet of paper to keep it from drying out too fast during the dry season. When the seeds have sprouted, make sure they get enough sunlight for proper growth. 
Preparation of seedlings before transplanting. Mortality is high during transplanting if the seedlings are not given proper care. To ensure a higher rate of survival the following processes are needed. 1. Thinning 2. Pricking 3. Hardening. 1. Thinning. There are times when more seeds are sown than necessary. To produce strong plants, pull out some crowded seedlings so that the remaining plants will have more room. Thinning accelerates the circulation of air and provides a greater feeding area for seedlings to make them sturdier and healthier. 2. Pricking. This is done by transferring seedlings from one box to another to provide more space for proper development. Water the seedlings before pricking. 3. Hardening. The process is done 7 to 15 days before transplanting. The purpose is to make the tissue of the plants harder in order to survive the rigors of transplanting. The water intake of the plant is gradually decreased, and the seedling is exposed to sunlight for a longer period of time. Indirect planting. In indirect planting the plant needs to be transferred to its permanent place. This is commonly done with trees. Nowadays, you can avail seedlings planted in small plastic bags ready to transfer. Follow the general steps and the proper steps of transferring of plants. 1. Place the seedlings away from the direct sunlight. Make sure the seedlings are healthy and fresh before planting. 2. Dig the area where you want to plant them. The length and depth of the hole should be according to how big the tree will become. Leave 2 inches allowance in the length and depth of the hole to allow the new roots to breath. 3. Remove the plants from the plastic bag. Do not remove the soil which holds the roots. 4. Slowly and carefully place the seedlings in the hole. Make sure the main roots are not bent. 5. Cover it with soil. Lightly press the soil. 6. Water the new plant early the next morning. Use a water sprinkler. It is important to water the soil that surrounds the plant. Remember, it is necessary to observe the elements in planting trees and fruit-bearing trees in order to have bountiful harvest.